Well, today I opened my task manager and noticed that my Chrome browser had many chrome.exe processes running even though I had only opened two tabs. The first tab was a new tab and the second one had seen it loaded. This made me concerned about the excessive number of processes in the task manager. Perhaps you are also curious about why there are so many processes in the task manager and what might be happening with your Chrome browser. So let's try to find out if this is a malware related issue or something else. First off, it is important to note that while some of the processes could be malware related, most of them are legitimate processes. To learn more about these processes, you can navigate to the more tools and click on task manager. It is Chrome Browser Task Manager. Here you can see various processes associated with Chrome Browser. The main process you can see is the browser itself. It is responsible for the overall functioning of the Chrome Browser. Another process you may notice is the GPU process. Chrome relies on this process for tasks such as visual rendering, HTML processing and other graphics related operations. If you attempt to kill this process, it will automatically restart. And this one is connecting to the internet and this one is related to the data storage, audio and so on. In my second tab, I have the cnet.com website open. And each of these subframes represent a separate process associated with the cnet.com. These processes are typically connected to the advertisement companies that provide ad service on cnet.com. So let's count them together. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and additionally this browser's own task manager is open within the Chrome browser, so making it a total of 17 processes. Now let's go to the taskbar and open the window task manager. Here you will notice that Chrome has 17 chrome.exe processes and we have already counted and understood in the Chrome task manager. By understanding the function of these different processes, you can better comprehend the operation occurring within the Chrome and identify any unusual or potential malicious activity. I hope so this information has addressed all your queries. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. Happy browsing.